This is the IBC's own document. We're asking that you open on your own devices, but even as we show, Muranga County. Kagema, Kangema, Moguru, and Gasharaigo Primary School 02. This is live. My lords and my ladies, we have downloaded a Form 34A from the IBC portal. And I'd like the court to just scrutinize this form before we go to other details. From where I am, the stamp. The stamp. My lords and my ladies, is that the IEBC stamp? It's on the IBC portal, looking like it's been superimposed over another stamp. We have been asked to show how are the figures changed. Now, my lords and my ladies, If we look at the votes cast, the first figure on the form is for Raila Odinga, 55, it's followed by William Ruto, 260, it's followed by, I think that's Mwaure Waiga, 001, and the last is Wajakoya, triple zero. If we sum up the total votes, we get 316. The total votes cast according to this particular form is 321, different from what we have just seen. The rejected votes are four, which means already by calculation there is a problem but we'd like the court to look at the total number of registered voters. A close scrutiny of the form shows that the number was probably 455, and the five is actually similar to the, form, the figures written in the votes cast. But somebody, or somehow, that figure has been changed to make it look like 488. It is obvious to the naked eye when you look at that form. Now, when we go to now the bombshell itself, the top left-hand corner of the form, we were told by my colleague, Mr. Gumbo, there were no foreigners in this election. We were told the foreigners left before the 8th of August. We were told they did not even have access to maintain the server. This is on the 9th of August, and at the top left-hand corner there is the name of one of the Venezuelans, Jose Camargo. This is the person who decided the president-elect of the country. It is on the IEBC portal. It is live. How did that come there? What are you 
this person is the one who was interfering with the forms we are able to demonstrate at least a crumb was left by God's grace. We found something. We didn't make this up. We were told we forged these documents. Now, this is how, my lords, the staging was happening. This is how the changes were happening. This is on the 9th of August, we were told they were not there. I'm going to do, because of time. With your permission, your ladyship. I beg your pardon. In our petition. You read our finish and then you tell us what it is. They are responding. To it relates to an objection to what she's doing, Your Ladyship. No, let, let him let her finish. <laughs> my ladies, my lords, that name, Jose Camargo Gregorio, appears in our petition. And is also, that evidence is also found in the affidavit of the second petitioner, one of the people whom we complained about as having interfered in the election and who were told had no access. My lady, we're going to take you again on the same IBC live portal to show how the staging was happened. And because of time, if we can go to Bungoma. We want to do it live, and we are doing it live on the IBC portal. My lady, we were told. We were told about the Kim's kit and how they work. The serialization of the numbers. We have been told that each of the 42,201 Kim's kits that were used in the election had their own unique Kim's kit ID and serial numbers. Bungoma County? Mount Elgon, Chesikaki, and Song Songoyu. We'll download the form. The nomenclature of the Kim's kit and, and the form is shown at the top on the address bar. And for purposes of time, my lady, what we were told, it will show you that that's a form 34A. It will give you the serial code of the polling station from which that form 34A relates. And then it will show you the Kim's kit serial number or ID. There'll be a date stamp and a time stamp. What I'd like the court to focus on is the serial number. And perhaps because I can't see from here, this is where I would have liked the court to have its own But maybe if it can be. Now, 
The serial number on this particular form, my ladies and my lords, which I would have liked for the court to confirm for itself. If somebody there can, may I ask one of the court assistants to read for us the serial number as it is so that then I'm not accused of making up things. Uh, that's all right, it doesn't change anything. Um, Evelyn, could you read that? The number that starts with F2, it's in the middle. Or can I read it myself? Yes. I can't see it. The one on top? Yes. PR06. No, no, no. no. The one oh, sorry. F2. My ladies and my lords. What would require is that you note down that number. We will compare it with another later. It reads F2 M002041313. The time, please. It's right next on the date. Um, that one. The time is the date on which ninth uh, August twenty twenty two at nineteen fifty six. We'll check another form. Neri. Neri Town. Gatitu. Morogoro. Tunguma Primary School. Stream 3. Can you read the serial number? F. F two three zero four five zero M zero zero two zero four one three three. And the date and time, please. Ninth August twenty twenty two at twenty three forty nine. My ladies and my lords, this is the same Kim's kit transmitting or sending results. One from Mount Elgon, 1,000 kilometers away from Nyeri town. Two hours later, how is that possible? When each Kim's kit was supposed to have, each polling station had its own unique Kim's kit, which was supposed to transmit from the, um, its own unique IP address. Because of time, I cannot demonstrate the thousands of forms that we have identified with the same issue. My ladies and my lords, this is how the staging or the complaint that we raised happened. We did not give this court a fiction. What we gave the court happened. Now, staging, and as we have shown, the 11,000 polling stations that we had complained were staged were transmitted all from one IP address. Every Kim's kit was required to have its own unique IP address. The only way 11,000 Kim's kits or results can be transmitted from one IP address is if they were collected and as probably my senior Paul had, Paul Mwangi had, may I have, I beg your pardon, my time is up. Um, yes, two minutes. 
My, Lord, my ladies and my lords, the way in which, the manner in which the election was stolen, the reason why staging was necessary was forms were intercepted like this. Whoever intercepted them then had time to decide which ones they could manipulate before uploading them and sending them to the IBC portal. The other reason that we know there was manipulation is because the original Form 34A is a colored form that should have appeared at the National Tiling Center if transmitted in one transaction as a colored form. All the forms that are on the IBC portal are in black and white. At what point were they altered from JPEG to PDF. When did that modification happen? And what other modification was done to the form? We submit to you that we have shown that not only was it possible, it did happen, and the fingerprints of those who interfered in the systems are still there. Thank you for your time. I, I don't know whether to be that generous. I donate the 29 seconds to the court. Thank you very much <laughs> at the insistence of my seniors.